What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and I'm out here about to show you guys another surround sound system. In this particular theater room we are running a television but I think it's really cool. I never show off this brand just because it's not quite as popular as for example Klipsch or Martin Logan or Kef but episode signature series 1500 one of my best speakers but just not as well known we're running a, a five dot i believe it's a 5.1.2 dolby atmos system with the television up in this home behind me so we're going to go inside show you what it's about do a little demo for you make sure everything is optimized properly if you guys are one of my subscribers already make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up all right let's go inside and check it out All right guys, just got into the home and I'm gonna take you through the system and show you exactly what was done here. Little heads up, not a 512 like I had primarily discussed with you guys. This is actually a 7.1 system and I'll briefly discuss the differences and also kind of run you through why I think uh, what was done is currently in place. I have a lot of design ideas and work with you guys over the phone to create systems for these rooms and in certain situations it isn't always exactly possible so the installers were out here putting it in and you can see uh, we have surround and surround rear there versus surround back there and top atmos up here and i'm sure there's a reason so uh, this is the where the television is and we got the lcrs right there up underneath it and beside it this is the 1500 series uh, LCRs, I believe. Yep. Just like on his invoice. These are really, really nice speakers at a very good price point. Uh, they're under $400 each. They have uh, incredible clarity, nice bass response. It's got a movable tweeter. And this manufacturer does have a lifetime warranty. In the price range, I've always been very, very happy with the performance. LCR is great for left, right, and center applications. You can see it's a really sharp looking speaker too. My first theater room, I actually had these, the full, I had a 7, 734 Atmos system with the 1500 series. So I can vouch that it performs well. I'm also gonna play you guys a demo. So you can see there was a, this room was not wired. So like, if you look around the room, there's like weird little holes everywhere where we actually had to run the wiring and then it looks like it got ran around the room and then up the wall back here they had to cut a hole in the framing to get it down and uh, yeah we got a second subwoofer back there oh i didn't see that so we're actually running a, a 7.2 system here two subwoofers uh, this is a giant room these are ported 12 inch subs i thought i just saw one on the invoice but it turns out two we've been doing a lot of these recently so you got your surround and your surround rear what was optimal or what i really wanted uh, to have done is a 5.2.2 uh, atmos system so in that situation you would have had your low speaker there and your low speaker right there and then the atmos here and here um, what Atmos does is just separate out the channels so you get high effects versus low effects. So like the helicopter up there, car screeching around the corner down here, which is great for movies, but uh, the homeowner, I just talked with his brother and he said that they opted for just a 7.1 because of the content that they're watching. And they discussed everything with, my installers discussed everything with the homeowner and he made this decision on the day of installation mixture of the construction of the home as well as the viewing experience. So 7.1 is still a great format, really wide variety of content that's going to be available with it, which is really nice. So you have uh, everything on cable, Blu-ray, games, it doesn't matter what it is, you're gonna use all the speakers, so that's great. Uh, we got another subwoofer over here. And these are the uh, 1500 series as well. These are bipolar speakers. What bipolar means is uh, they fire in two directions. See how you have two tweeters right here? And you can select bipole or dipole. Um, we're running them as bipoles currently. So let me touch on that just a little bit more, guys. Um, the reason that you wanna use a bipolar speaker is for better dispersion throughout the space. So 
in, a, in this location, a bipole is great because you're getting audio. You can see they have seating everywhere. Like this is a multi-purpose game room. You know, you're hanging out with your family, everybody's sitting. I mean, you could have 20 people in here watching the game, playing foosball and whatnot. So this is gonna disperse the audio really well to where the audio is firing that way as well as that way. So as the audio is moving through the space, it's almost like having two speakers right there. It's gonna be very fluid as the audio moves through the space. Uh, let's see, we got the ABR and we are using the Marantz 5014. You guys know I use this receiver all the time. The Marantz receivers, they're some of my favorite. They have really nice processing and uh, it's basically the premium version of Denon and they have Hios built in so you can build on it, expand into multi-room streaming. This is kind of a, uh, a no-no. You don't want to cover up your, your vents. Maybe the homeowner threw it up there, but these vents are here for a reason. These amplifiers get really, really hot. So make sure not to stack your equipment unless you have a rack. Uh, it has built-in Alexa, uh, AirPlay 2, plenty of HDMI ports. Like I said, the biggest things that I like about the Marantz system is Hios and then the processing for calibration and audio decoding does a really nice job of that. So Heos, the way it works is with Heos, you can basically start out with just one room like this where you can pipe your music right to it, Pandora, Spotify, Tidal, whatever. Um, but then you can add in other speakers throughout the home, either in ceiling and put like a dead in Heos amp on it, or you can do uh, like a portable speaker. They have the one, three, and five, where you can just literally set it on the table, plug it into the wall, and you're ready to rock and roll. They also have one that has a battery pack. So like say if you wanted to have audio out here on the patio, but you don't really use the patio a lot, in this situation, I would personally probably do some uh, speakers that, you know, either mount to the brick out there and fire out or some in ceilings and do some shiplap. But um, you could do like a, the portable one where you just set it there, plug it into the wall whenever you're out there and it'll group together with the rest of the house. So wherever you go, whenever you're entertaining, you have really nice full music throughout the entire space. We're using a LG this is an OLED, just an LED, 82-inch uh, TV up there. It's looking really good. And that about concludes the, the, the total system overview. I'm gonna go ahead and play a demo for you guys now. Hope you like it. guys so that's a quick little demo in Dolby surround another thing you can do if you're watching just like normal programming is go over to multi-channel stereo and what that's gonna do is put the audio through all of the speakers all at once versus assigning just like the center speaker as the dialogue and then have effects ripping through the room so let me show you the difference let's just go to like uh, let's see we'll go to normal uh, cable like channel eight this is a example of just a commercial but this is gonna be about the same for news hear how the voice is coming equally through that speaker for people with type 2 diabetes this speaker start acting in my body from the first dose 
and this big one. Type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't take Trulicity. If you're allergic to it, you and your family have medullary thyroid cancer. You get the idea. Basically, in all-channel stereo, it's all the speakers running in stereo mode all the time, which for a lot of people, like in your living room or even in a room like this, a multi-purpose space, if you're watching standard programming, it's going to sound more full. So that's one of the formats that I'll toggle between if I'm not watching a movie. Dolby Surround, all-channel stereo. Just a little tip. Take it or leave it. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this video, quick review of the system as well as the demo and found it informative and in helping you set up your own theater room. If you would like help setting up your space, give us a call, shoot us an email, and we'd be happy to help you out. We're gonna request all your info as well as some pictures of the space. We may even FaceTime you. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on everything that we offer. And uh, we're working on growing our installer network throughout the entire country. So. Going into 2020, we got big goals and can do without you guys. We really appreciate your support. It means the world to us. If you aren't one of our subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. All right, guys, till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.